I'm Chris Fox, and this is The Bourbonite. More often than not, uh, when you get into conversation with somebody who is an avid whiskey drinker, um, the questioning typically leads to, what do you prefer, bourbon or rye? But really, what's the difference? The biggest difference is the obvious one. Rye has rye in it. That doesn't mean that bourbon doesn't have rye in it. In fact, there are several bourbons that, that do use rye somewhere in the mash bill. Basil Hayden's is the perfect example. But the big difference is bourbon is 51% or more corn in the mash bill, and rye is 51% or more rye in the mash bill. What does this mean? Well, really the biggest difference um, when it comes to flavor-wise is the corn actually makes the bourbon sweeter. This is where some of those brown sugar and, and, and uh, more, uh, more uh, caramely flavors come from in bourbon, whereas rye is, uh, for lack of a better term, it's a bit more potent. Uh, it definitely has a spicier kick to it, and uh, it would be, I guess you could call it drier. Just like bourbon, rye is regulated, at least in the United States. Uh, it's not uncommon for rye to be a 95 to 100% rye, but it, there are different variations in, in different mash bills, but it is heavily regulated to make sure that you do get that 51% or more, just like bourbon is with corn. Similar to bourbon, rye will change with age. Uh, rye has a tendency to become more subtly complex as it gets older, and those uh, spicy flavors really kind of spread out is probably the best way to think about it. Not all ryes are the same. With rye, there are two main styles for the most part. There are derivatives of these styles since then, but it, it's based on two main styles. There's the Monogahela, which is also known as the Pennsylvania rye, and then there is the Maryland style rye. I'm not going to try to say Monogahela over and over again, so I'm going to call it Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania rye is typically considered a spicier rye, and uh, for the most part that comes from the fact that the original versions of it were more often than not 100% rye, so a lot of that really spicy flavor was incredibly apparent. These days, really anything that's 80 or 90% rye and above can be considered Pennsylvania rye. Sweeter ryes that uh, incorporate more corn into their mash bill, giving it more of a bourbon tinge while still staying rye, are considered Maryland ryes. These names derived somewhat from the location that a lot of these ryes first came into being, but um, these days, similar to bourbon, most most rye is, is made in Kentucky and has kind of proliferated west from there. So if you're looking for a, a spicier kick to your, uh, to your delicious brown liquor, give rye a try. So if you like what you've seen, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more bourbon and rye and uh, a little bit of everything else to come. See what I did there? If Rye try, I could be a rapper. So that's it. That that's it. That's it. Monogahela. So with Rye, there are two main styles. There's the Monogah Monogahela. Monogahela. It's Pennsylvania. Monogahela. Okay.